I, I, do, I do not think that you know we should kind of be like holding the coattails of America, and I, I would prefer it if if England or the United Kingdom became more involved with Europe. It's like why you know why are we not more involved with Europe? Why are we we're involved with America? You know, it's like when I, I travel around Europe a lot, and you know we don't even have the euro, but we're supposed to be. The, you know, we're supposed to be European. So, okay, in that case, we're going to have a dollar. You know, <laughs> I mean, I knew Mark was gay from the from the day I've known him. I mean, I you know, I'm I'm not gay. A lot of people thought that you know, Mark and I were kind of lovers. No, seriously, people thought Mark and I were lovers. I met Freddie Merc. I met Freddie Mercury one time. You know, I was in this bar in New York, and that's the first thing Freddie said to me. He was like, "So are you and Mark lovers?" And I said, "No, Freddie, this is my girlfriend." He's like, oh, "Oh, sorry, I, I didn't know." But Mark, I mean, Mark was sort of was told. I mean, you know, Mark, Mark is. I mean, obviously, you know, he's, he's a, a gay man. You know, which is it's never been a problem to me. But it was obviously a problem. It was a problem for the record company, and they deliberately said, "You know, don't." Don't ever say anything, you know. Don't mention that, you know, you're gay. And he used to get like ridiculous, ridicu ridiculous things in kids' magazines. Like, which one do you fancy more, Dave or Mark? You know, and it's like, uh, what, what's your ideal kind of girlfriend, Mark? And it's like, but that, that it was that sort of homophobia, which you know still exists. But I think it's it's better than it was. But it's still there, you know. But speaking as a heterosexual person, I can't imagine what it must be like to be persecuted for your sexuality, you know. George Michael, I mean, I think that what, what's, what's still awful about the, the thing with George Michael, I, I admire him that, he, you know, he did, he did that thing on the Parkinson show, which we get here, you know, and, and it, he, he was interviewed, and he, he was very eloquent and stuff. The fact that he was caught in a toilet, it still kind of makes it, the whole thing so kind of like, s sort of sleazy and sad, you know, I mean, it's, it's kind of, like, because it's like, what, you know, what's wrong with what's wrong with that? You know, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. But the idea of like, oh, well, he was caught in a toilet. It's like, that's what's wrong with it. You know, you shouldn't have to be kind of going in a toilet. You know what I mean? That's the point.